Hey, welcome to another video. In this one, I'd like to share with you a few of my favorite images from 2023. Let's get to it. I was fortunate enough to go on an Alaskan cruise. The weather was horrendous, but I did come away with a few images that I'd like to share. This is the first one. I'm not going to show these images in any particular order as far as date or anything like that. This is the first of three you'll see from Alaska. And it was shot at F63, 1 over 100 ISO 64 at about 45 millimeter. I used the lens that I used the most during 2023, which was the Nikon 24 to 120 F4. I happened to notice this boat just as I was walking along a road. I wasn't going to take a photo of it. And I thought, no, it'd probably make a pretty nice photo. And there you are. Image number one. This next image I really had to work for. That's my buddy Henry the Heron, who's been in a few of my videos. He was sitting up in a tree and I had to be somewhere later that afternoon. And I waited close to an hour for him to take flight out of a tree. He was only up in the tree, maybe 10 feet. And I knew once he took off, and I knew the direction he would likely take off in because he has a pretty standard routine in the mornings. So I waited and waited, waited. I had to get home, get a shower and get somewhere. The rain was coming in anyway. And I just looked at him and I said, Henry, I gotta go home. Please, will you just fly off so I can get a photo of you? And maybe five seconds later, off he went. There's the photo. This is another image of Henry. And one of the reasons why I was getting back into bird photography again this year was because I had picked up the Z8 and it lends itself more so than the Z7 II to getting images like this. And again, this was shot with the 24 to 120 F4 Nikon lens. I did another video on bird photography around the area that I photograph in. One thing that I do mention is that if you really pay attention to these birds, a lot of times they do have routines. And this bird here, there's a little section where there's almost like a small canal and a bridge. And this bird will always wade right up to where the entrance is. And then he'll take flight and he'll fly across the little canal part, which is only maybe 15 feet wide. And then he'll land back on the other side again. And I had seen him do this several times. So again, I had to sit and wait until he waded on down that to that area. And I had a pretty good idea he was going to take flight. So I was up on the bridge, focused down on him. And granted, I had to sit and wait 20, 25 minutes for him to wade on down and decide it was time to take off. And there's been a few times where I've missed the shot because I'll take my eye off him for just a second and he'll fly off. But I was fortunate enough this time to catch him take flight. This next image is one of my grandsons and it was shot with the Tamron 70 to 300 lens, which goes to show you, you, you don't necessarily have to have a lens that's designed for portraits to get a nice portrait. It was shot at around 207 millimeter at 5.6. And it was during while my other grandson was playing t-ball and we were just sitting up in the stands. I had the camera at my grandson here. They're kind of used to seeing me with the camera around all the time. And just for that split second, he gave me that stare and there you go. Another thing I started to do a little bit more of in 2023 was infrared photography. This was done with a converted Z50 with the Nikon 35 millimeter lens. So it comes out to be, I don't know, 50, 52 millimeters. And this was one of my favorite infrared images from the year. So I thought I would share it with you. I recorded a video using the Nikon 85-18 lens. And this was one of the images that I got from it. Again, it took a little bit of patience because 
this particular fisherman kept staring at me and wondering if he if I was going to take his picture or not. I don't know whether he cared or didn't care. I'm not really a good street photographer, picture taker. So I get a little uneasy sometimes when I'm trying to take a picture of a, a stranger like that. He did smile after I took it, so I guess he was okay with it. This is the second of three images that I was going to show you from Alaska. This is at Icy Strait Point. And again, we just had a week that it just rained constantly the whole time. And we were on a Jeep tour or something. And we went out to this little spot where he said you could get a, a good image. And the rain broke for just a few minutes so that I could get that image. It's a panorama. I forget. I think it's about eight or nine images stitched together. I didn't focus stack it or anything like that. It was just a panorama. It was handheld. It was shot at F8 ISO 64. And again, that was with the 24 to 1 20 lens. It was with the Nikon Z7 II. This is the third image from Alaska. This was actually taken from the side of the ship. I don't remember what time of day, but the rain was intermittent off and on, and most people were just kind of eating lunch or in the cabin or whatever they were doing. And I just went up top of the ship and wandered around and happened to see that image. It was shot again with the 24 to 120 f4. It's a great travel lens, but again, you just have to look for circumstances where you might find an image. We just happened to be pulling out from one of the towns and I grabbed that shot. The advantage to photographing this one bird, for whatever reason, he lets me get pretty close to him. He doesn't get skittish. The other blue herons along the lake there, if I get within 10 yards of them, they usually fly off unless they're a little bit further out into the water. But this particular bird, he lets me get pretty close to him. I happen to be walking along the lake. He was getting close to that area that I mentioned earlier near the canal, and I didn't have time to get up on the, the bridge. So I was standing at ground level right near him. I, I bet I was within four or five feet of him. And off he went. And again, that was with the 24 to 120 lens which proves you don't necessarily have to have a 600 millimeter bazooka to take bird photography. This is a spoonbill. We're very fortunate this year, during the summer around the lake, there were between six and eight of them that were pretty consistently there in the mornings. There were several years where I didn't see any of them for the entire year. Fortunately, I think some of them have moved back into the area. This was also shot with the 24 to 120 lens, but it was with the Z8. This was at f4 and 1 4,000th of a second ISO 500. It was kind of early in the morning, maybe 8.30, 9 o'clock. And that's usually when the spoonbills would be around. And that's probably my favorite of the spoonbill photos that I got during the summer. This is one of my grandsons and this was his first year of playing t-ball and I just happened to love this image because of the expression on his face, the way he's looking up at the coach trying to explain things. That was shot with the Tamron 70 to 300 on with the Z7 II but I just I just love that image. This is the same grandson couple of months later out at the Trier Park Zoo and they were playing in the fountain and again the expression makes the image. This was shot with the Z8 with the 85 millimeter Nikon lens and one sixteenth hundred of a second at f2 but again it's the expression on his face the joy that he's having playing in the water that makes the image. This is the last image it's one of my favorites from the year if not my very favorite one of the reasons why is because all three of my grandsons don't get to be in the same room that often because they live a few hours apart. So I see them for holidays and maybe a birthday here and there. 
So it's not too often that they all especially sit together like that. And I just happened to catch it. That was with the 50 millimeter Nikon lens. The lighting wasn't the best, but I had to take advantage of the shot that I could get. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you have a happy and prosperous new year coming up. And until next time, if you get a chance, please like and subscribe. Till next time, take good care of yourself.